Namaste. I am Mini and welcome to my channel Food Atomic. Today we are making a famous and delicious recipe called cauliflower manchurian or gobi manchurian. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see the ingredients we would need for this recipe. These are the list of ingredients we would require and I have also listed them in the description section. Let's start by prepping the cauliflower florets. Heat water in a pan and add 2 teaspoons of salt. Once the water is hot, go ahead and add the cauliflower florets. Make sure that the cauliflower florets are dipped in water and let them cook for 10 to 12 minutes over medium heat. After that, drain the water and let them cool down. Now we'll prepare the coating for the cauliflower florets. So to a big bowl, add 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour and 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. Add 1 teaspoon of salt and mix all the dry ingredients. Once done, go ahead and add small amounts of water and mix everything. We need a very thin batter of pouring consistency. So we are starting by preparing a thick paste so there are no lumps in the batter. Keep mixing it till you see no lumps. At this point the batter looks smooth so we'll add small quantity of water and mix. The batter looks nice but we still need to add some more water. It needs to be really pouring consistency. The batter has reached the perfect consistency. Now we'll go ahead and add the cauliflower florets which are now at room temperature. Also we have drained all the water from the cauliflower florets. Mix them nicely with the batter so they are coated evenly. Once done we will go ahead and add 2 to 3 tablespoons of all purpose flour and 1 tablespoon of cornstarch. Mix the dry flour with the florets until they are coated completely. At this point, all the florets are nicely coated with the flour. We'll go ahead and fry them. Heat oil in a pan. And once the oil is hot, go ahead and add the cauliflower florets. Once you start adding the florets, turn the heat to medium and let them cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. Stir them occasionally so they don't get stuck to the pan. After 5 to 7 minutes, go ahead and take them out from the oil. Once you have fried all the florets, we are going to flash fry them again. So let them rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before you do the step. For the flash frying, make sure the oil is really hot and then go ahead and add the florets again to the pan in batches. Let them cook over high heat until they turn golden brown and really crispy. This step might take 2-3 to three minutes. So after that, take them out. Make sure they don't burn. They are already a perfect snack in itself. They are crispy and you can even eat them directly like this. Now it's time to start the preparation for the sauce. These are the list of ingredients you would need to prepare the sauce. I have also listed them in the description section. Heat a pan and add 3 tablespoons of oil. I'm making sure the oil is evenly spread. Once the oil is hot, add 4 to 5 finely chopped garlic cloves. 
Mix them nicely with the oil and let them cook over 2 to 3 minutes over medium heat. Then add 2 small finely chopped green chilies. Cook them for a minute. Then add 1 finely chopped small onion. We are going to cook the onion till it turns soft and golden brown. This step is really important so do not hurry. It might take around 7 to 9 minutes over medium heat for the onion to get cooked. Then add 1 to 2 teaspoon of salt or salt as per taste and 1 teaspoon of black pepper. Give it a mix. Now it's time to add the sauces. So to the pan add 2 tablespoon of soy sauce. 1 tablespoon of red chili sauce and 2 tablespoons of ketchup or tomato sauce. Give it a mix till everything is well combined. See how amazing the sauce is looking right now. At this point we are going to add small amount of water. Since this is a dry Manchurian recipe, I am not going to add too much of water but I still need to add or have some gravy to coat all the cauliflower florets. So I am going to add still a small amount of water and you can always adjust this amount based on the quantity of your cauliflower florets. Now let this cook over low heat for about 5 minutes. And meanwhile we are going to prepare the cornstarch slurry. So to a bowl add 1 tablespoon of cornstarch and then add 4 to 5 tablespoons of water and mix it well. And that's it. The cornstarch slurry is ready. Now going back to the sauce, add half of the cornstarch slurry and give everything a mix. Make sure that the heat is at low. Once you start to mix it, you'll see that the sauce is getting thicker. Now I'm going to add the rest of the cornstarch slurry and mix it. Do not add too much of cornstarch slurry to this mix as it can always empower the flavors of the sauce. Guys the sauce is ready now it's time to add the cauliflower florets. So go ahead and add them. Mix them well so all the florets are coated completely with the sauce. As you can see the florets are completely coated with the sauce and they look amazing. Now the final step. Go ahead and add some freshly chopped spring onion greens. I love the flavor spring onions bring out in this recipe. Give everything a mix. Switch off the heat and the cauliflower manchurian or gobi manchurian is ready guys. Make sure you serve them hot as they are delicious and crispy. So remember guys you can always prep the cauliflower and the sauce beforehand and mix them together only when you are going to serve. And that way you will have a crispy cauliflower manchurian anytime as they might get soggy if you leave them for a longer time. This is a perfect party starter recipe and I am sure everybody will love it. So guys do try this recipe at home and let me know your feedback in the comment section. So if you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Food Atomic. I'll be back soon with another interesting vegan recipe. Until then, bye.